welcome. I'm going to show you how to look up your voter record using the uh, Secretary of State of Florida's website. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this page, which you can click the link or do a search for it, and then you're going to enter your information, and this is going to lead you to what is wrong with your ballot. So you have to fill in your name. Uh, I'm going to use my own name, even though my ballot's uh, fine. Got to click the understand and agree, and then click the I am not a robot, click submit. And now you see my name and my address, my voter ID number, uh, which is what we use to track uh, the voters. And they're all unique. I'm currently registered as a Democrat, even though I'm usually an NPA. And now if you see down here on the left, you see ballot and precinct information available through your county's website. So I click on that and now I see a page here and this shows me a couple of uh, interesting things, but the most important one is this one, sample ballot, I mean, that is general election, show my ballot information. It says ballot one sent on October 2nd, ballot one received by our office October 10th, 2018. It was received by our office. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like if there's a problem with your ballot. So now we're going to see, uh, I had to wipe out the person's address. So it says ballot one received by our office Tuesday, October 16th for the election was received. However, there was a problem with your ballot. Either you did not sign the return envelope or your signature did not match your signature of record. Your ballot cannot be counted unless you complete a vote by mail ballot cure affidavit. The affidavit and a copy must of the required identification must be received no later than 5 p.m. Eastern on November 5th, 2018. Please carefully follow the instructions provided for the earlier to do so may result in your ballot not being counted. Now, this is the one drawback with voting by mail if your signature gets messed up or you forget to sign. Um, so I'm going to hit pause now and switch back to my profile. All right, so we're back on mine, and almost every single county is the same. I do believe uh, four counties use different software. Uh, but so, so we're back on my profile. So I can click on uh, this button here. Let's see if we, this will show me where my voting precinct is. And then you saw on the other one, it even had a picture of it. I can click on sample ballot. That's even uh, more important. So what we've done with uh, the Shadow Vote project is program M, a statewide sample ballot, but it will be missing certain things. But let me show you the other ones. Let me show you the this last election, I can get all those the details for my ballot mailing and so on. And so let's go with the sample ballot here. And this is the November 6, 2018. Now this is supposed to look identical to your ballot. All the amendments, uh, you can fill this out, and print it, and take it to the polls, or, or the next video you can look at uh, the Shadow Boat website and see how things are a lot easier important thing to remember is we update th that vote by mail information every 24 hours. Uh, we copy it from the state's database. State puts it in the computers and we get it 24 hours later. It might be 48 hours before you see it, but if you subscribe to Shadow Vote, we'll send you an email alert when you, when you're, hopefully your good ballot is returned and but we'll alert you when it's uh, not as well. All right, I'm gonna go back to the next screen. Hopefully that's being shared and close this video. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you for your time.